Walk it like I'm talking. Hey. Walk it like I'm talking. Walk it. Walk it like I'm talking. Walk it. Walk it like I'm talking. What's going on everybody? So, man, I'm so tired. I just did a 12 freaking mile lease road. Yo, these lease roads are vicious. Ooh, woo. It took me 27 minutes to go 12 miles. No traffic, nothing. When I say they were all kinds of potholes and like little rivets and like like little dips and like you could like if you go in this in the wrong way you could fall off the road it's just i've never seen anything like this before it's like worse than trying to drive on the beach or something so anyways i want to give you guys some tips on if you're going on a lease road number one don't follow google maps <laughs> although the distance may be shorter to get there Rand mcnally or garmin whoever as long as the truck app i mean a truck gps is most likely gonna keep you on the best road now that's not always true when you're driving interstate when there's like the city ordinance um laws where you can't go down a certain street or they'll ticket you now that's not considered federal law but the city does acknowledge it so you just need to watch your signs for that but don't follow google because there was another way and i could have avoided that 12 mile lease road <clears throat> um number two don't be afraid to drive on both sides of the road look for the smoothest area to drive your truck in take your time because driving too fast on a lease road can damage and rattle the hell out of you while you're driving you're gonna think that the truck is literally about to rip itself apart <clears throat> okay the next tip is when you're going on those little rivets go don't go straight over them because you'll find that the, the truck is constantly doing that because whatever the weight is, whether it's 40 or 80,000 pounds, it's, it's falling. It's like going up a big speed bump, but many ones. So it's like boom, 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 because all the weight is falling into those small little dips. So you want to drive across them at an angle that's going to take less impact off of the, um, I guess the truck I was noticing that when I went across the rivets versus straight it, it was a smoother ride and I think that's pretty much it I did a lot of swerving from side to side don't take any risk on those lease rolls trying to go down those big potholes if you can, try to avoid them. This is your girl, First Lady of Boxing. And I'm back at it. I'm training again. I'm getting fo I'm getting things right. We focused. You know, the vision is still alive. And I wish you all well. Just wanted to come and communicate to you. I've been gone for a while. But I'm going to update you guys on my journey. And I have found a boxing gym in my area and i am about to get back in it so hopefully within the next 12 months or so maybe less you'll see your girl competing again in the competition all right guys have a wonderful morning Stay hungry.